in the middle? Is this the middle? Boop. What do you think of my sweet hotel room? Pretty great. Welcome to another day. So I'm down at San Diego, Comic Con. Comic Con is a hellscape. Uh, it is a million people. It's normally a thousand degrees. Everybody's costume has a has a wing on it, so you're just constantly getting hit. But it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun here. And so because uh, Comic Con is a hellscape, I thought for this week we'd talk about a book about hell. I don't have the book in front of me, so I guess I'll just put up a graphic. Wounds, Six Tales for the Borderlands of Hell. Nailed it. North American Lake Monsters, Nathan's first book, did something I had kind of never seen before in horror. Now, all of the short stories in North American Lake Monsters have a central focus of human dynamics and relationships and that stuff with one crazy horror element. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. There are three guys, construction workers, who are building this subdivision, and it keeps getting vandalized at night. So they decide to wait overnight with a gun to kind of scare off the vandals. What happens? A werewolf comes and attacks them, kills two of them, and the one surviving guy, the rest of the story is all about how he was dealing with survivor's guilt. The werewolf has nothing to do with the rest of the story. That happens in the very beginning, and the short story is all kind of about this guy and his identity as a man and what that means. That was North American Lake Monsters. I thought it was really great the way it handled those human dynamics, and, and I did like the book quite a bit. But this book, oh man, for his second book, Wounds, it is a ride. First of all, it is extremely gory and violent. A lot of human suffering, torture, bones being ripped out, anything you could possibly think about. This is not a book for the squeamish in any way, but I absolutely loved it. And here's why I loved Wounds. Nathan is a great storyteller. He's a great world builder. And as you're reading it, it has a lot of really interesting ideas I'd kind of never seen before. He creates his own kind of language and uh, myths and all this stuff about what he thinks hell is. And there's a lot of like interplay between things that are brought back from hell and people who live on the fringes of the dimension of hell and these things. And it sounds outlandish, but he does a great job of rooting it in reality, which I know sounds crazy, but it's a magic trick in itself that he can root such amazing, crazy, far-fetched ideas in reality. But he does very well. What Wounds does that I've kind of never seen before in this way is it's extremely bloody and gory and violent. But Nathan makes the point, the underlying point that I took from Wounds, was that there's no physical pain that is even close to the pain of the heart. And what hell is, it's not about torture and physical uh, 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 punishment. It's about longing and melancholy. And the worst pain you can inflict on another person, on a human being, is unrequited love. Uh, because the pain of the heart is bottomless. And it, it can keep growing. I mean, eventually you reach your threshold for physical pain, but you never truly reach your threshold for emotional pain. And that's what hell inflicts on people. And I thought that was an absolutely brilliant and beautiful idea, if a little dark. <laughs> and I didn't want this book to end. I, I loved it. I, I, I really enjoyed the world he built. He weaves a lot of really cool, interesting characters through these stories. That's why I really admire a well-written short story because to make you care about someone in such a few number of pages is a, an incredible act. And if you love horror or you just want to take a little bit of a walk on the wild side and you can stomach it, Wounds, Six Tales from the Borderlands of Hell by Nathan Bellingrad. Go pick it up. It's amazing. Don't read it before you eat or after you eat or during eating. Because how do you eat while reading a book? You just get crumbs and sauces in there and soups and stuff. So.